Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This week we have three very special guests joining us on the Sweetwater Minute. We have Steve Marcantonio, engineer from Nashville, Nicole Cochran from Nick of Time Communications, and Sharon Corbett House from Ben's Place Studio in Nashville. And you all have made the trek up here from Nashville, the six or seven hour drive, to talk about a really cool project that you've been working on. And that's the uh, And We All Shine On CD, which benefits the Nashville Engineers Relief Fund. Nicole, can you tell us what the, uh, the uh, Relief Fund is all about? I'm glad to. The Nashville Engineer Relief Fund, commonly known as NERF, mm -hmm. was started 15 years ago by the AES Nashville section. So um, it is a benevolent fund that raises money specifically for Nashville engineers that just need a hand up, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, it's medical crises or other life crises. You know, basically, we just really want to help engineers because they're largely self-employed, uh, independent contractors, they're non-unionized, and so uh, this is just a way that we can make sure that they're okay when they're in crisis. Right, so it helps out if they have mm -hmm. medical difficulties or any exactly. kind of really crisis mm -hmm. they need. And Steve, you got personally involved in this because you actually found yourself in a situation yes. where you, you uh, were able to uh, to take some help from the uh, relief fund. Yeah, I had some health issues in 2010, and uh, unfortunately, I was in the hospital for a week, and after that, out out of work for three months. But when I got out of the hospital, my dear friend Sharon um, asked me if I needed help, and I wasn't afraid to say no or yes, rather. Uh, right, right. And uh, they helped me out rather swiftly, and it was mm -hmm. a very, very big help, as Nicole said, a handout. Uh, hand up, rather. Mm -hmm. Instead of hand, hand up. up. So, um, you know, in the, in, in that the time that I was in, I, I needed um, I needed help in every which way, and they were uh, very quick to help me out. Right. That's one of the really cool things about the Nashville community is it is it is so tight. The producers, yes. the engineers, the musicians, and everyone really work together so closely, and that's that's really the way it's been for for a lot of years, right? Yeah. We right. get comments, all three of us, who we're talking on the drive up here, that. Um, producers and engineers come into the Nashville community from other music communities and they say they all remark how wonderful it is because it's like we take care of each other. Right, right, very much a family. Of, uh, mm -hmm. I had a known producer who was at our kickoff event for the CD and he uh, was so moved by the fact of seeing how we all work together as a community. He came back for his first day of session with me and he goes, what's the name of your fun again? And you know, you guys here in Nashville and I told him and he wrote me a check on the spot. He said, wow. here, I want to help out. You know, I mean, it, I think people are moved by that. They see that we are still very much a, a music community. Mm -hmm. People are there making music every day and working together and, and helping each other. And uh, the great thing about this fund, I mean, a lot of people don't realize if you're self-employed or it's not necessarily about having money. It's that gap in between waiting on an insurance check to come in or, you know, something to kick in. And you have a month there, maybe a transition where you need help just right. to help you. Um, it's, you know, it, it's great for that, and I think it's wonderful. So. Right. right, that's really great. Yeah. That's really great. Now, there, there are other things that you do to support the fund as well. There's a golf tournament every spring, and I know mm -hmm. Sweetwater is a sponsor of that as yes, well. Yes, they we, are. They're we, the uh, title sponsor. Yeah, so we, we love participating in that. They've been, uh, Sweetwater has been a longtime um, supporter of the Nashville Engineer Relief Fund, so it seems like naturally wonderful to us that they're distributing this. Right, area. yeah, we're happy to be part of that. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about uh, this project, which we're sure. also a part of, and we'll talk about how, how okay. that all came about, but Steve, this really goes back to your association with John Lennon at the record plant. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, um, I, I was at, I started at the record plant in 1978, and, and the, the person there that, was, uh, that owned the place, Roy Sakala, he had done a, a bulk of John's solo projects, and a lot of them had were done right there at the record plant. So I was used to hearing outtakes and seeing multi-tracks. So, and then in 1980, um, well after um, Double Fantasy was released, they had done some. Uh, they had recorded about 30 songs for that record, knowing that they would release another record after that. Mm -hmm. And one of those songs was called "Walking on Thin Ice," and we started. I'll, I'll, I remember it vividly. It was December 1st. It was a Monday. It was. Wow. Um, in 1980, and we listened to the track, cut back everything, and we just started overdubbing vocals. John played guitar and synth, and and uh, worked through that whole week and finished the mix late Sunday night. And um, Monday they came in to listen, and mm -hmm. um, subsequently we know what happened after that. So right. it was not even maybe an hour, an hour and a half later that I heard it on the news. So. Wow. wow! And I got to be 
really not I wouldn't say I got to get close to him but we were we were friendly during the week and right. and, and he was a great guy I've, I've talked to various engineers and producers who work with John through the year Ken Scott and, and oh, uh, yeah. various different people who have and and they've always told me that he had a lot of respect for engineers and yes. really really enjoyed working as a creative yes. partner yes with an engineer in he that had, as a matter of fact I think he had I wouldn't say that he had a studio in his apartment, but I know for a fact that he had gear, mm -hmm. you know, recording gear. And uh, as a matter of fact, one of those pieces of gear was called a clap track, and it was just a, a, a box with a button that made it sound like a clap. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, it was sold in New Jersey, where I'm from. So I told him I would pick that up for him, right. you know, and get it to him the following week. And he gave me $200 to get it. And, Unfortunately, I never got to get it for him, but uh, right. that's a sure sign that he was up on technology, sort of. Yeah, ab absolutely. Yeah. So how did the idea for And We All Shine On as a tribute record to John benefiting Nerf come about? Well, once again, when, when I got out of the hospital, it was, um, it was April of 2010. And a, a few weeks later, uh, I got a call from a journalist because 2010 was the anniversary of both his birth and unfortunate passing. Right. And the journalist wanted to know my time in the studio with John. So mm -hmm. I told him some stories and I hung up. My wife inquired what the phone call was about. And when I told her, she remarked, how come no one's ever done a tribute record to John Lennon? And it was right. it, it, that right then and there, this whole idea came to me mm -hmm. and, and I was really enthused and it, and it really helped me get better you know I was enthused right. to do it and um, it only took two years not bad <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no and and you know with me it was like I, I was so moved by nerf that they gave something to me I, I felt the need to give back to them mm -hmm. so this is part of you know well this is helping give back to them and it's right it's a great tribute too because he was such a great songwriter singer player and absolutely you know, and he was all about peace and love and that's what we're trying to sure you know come yeah across. absolutely now all the artists all of the engineers all of the studios donated 100 percent of everything 100%. to this no one was paid and Sharon you were actually telling us a story earlier about uh, approaching Yoko Ono about the uh, the royalties the mechanics. well yeah I mean the, the process of doing this you know it was you know John had publishing of course these were all his songs and mm -hmm. so um, I've, you know, being in touch with her attorney, Jonas Herbsman, a wonderful guy, has been extremely supportive of this project. Um, he ensured that and made made it possible uh, through, you know, her graciousness that 100% uh, of all of the uh, mechanicals, everything that's, you know, the records being the pro proceeds of the record, everything is going to the fund. So we're not having to pay out mechanicals or compulsory license mm -hmm. or uh, any of that to publishing, which is just amazing. Yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> it's really an incredible thing. Yeah, so it's very generous. Very gracious. So I had a chance to listen to the CD, and there's so much great stuff on here. There's 10 tracks, but it, it covers everything from the first song, Love. Uh, Gretchen Peters is this gentle kind of piano vocal kind of a piece and it goes to more rock things Rodney Crawl's piece and and Roseanne Cash and uh, the one that really jumped out of me was Instant Karma with the Vinyl Kings because they really went for that retro sound and they with the yeah, slapback yeah, delay yeah, and yeah, the whole the, the real roomy drums and everything yeah. is, is like stepping back to uh, to that era so there's, there's so much great music on this CD please pick up a copy 100% of the proceeds when you purchase this from Sweetwater is going to support the engineers and the uh, the Nerf fund um, it's available at Sweetwater.com or give your Sweetwater sales engineer a call. Uh, you're going to enjoy everything that's on here and you're supporting a great cause. Guys, thanks so much for coming up. We really appreciate thank it. I know it's a journey from, from Nashville, but we're, we're happy to have you great here with journey. us. Thank Glad you very much. You bet. Thanks, Sweetwater. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute.